Alright, I swear, if I go back up the stairs and find somebody else dead... You know, what is up the stairs? I have to go find out. At this point, there's no exclamation point, so it's probably nothing, but... Is she actually up here? There's, like, tables and stuff. Oh, hi. Alright, well, that's not very interesting. There's nothing else in this corner, right? I take it there's nothing of interest in this room, not even, like, items or anything, because they kind of just investigated the place and... I don't know, probably would have removed side items, but anyway... <clears throat> you there, Sholmes! Oh, Miss Lydia. So, I hear your family is something else, Sholmes. I wouldn't say that. Really? Grandfather, a famous private detective? Father, a famous police commissioner? A best-selling mystery novelist for a mother? Not to mention Heinkel and Kikyo. I'd say that's pretty darn impressive. Perhaps. Unfortunately, I'm far less so. To be honest, it's quite a burden. I had hoped the two of you might understand how I feel. The daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia, and the young heir to the illustrious House Genealogia. <laughs> well, you know yourself best. So, what are you gonna do? Planning to enter the Unihana PD? Or is the life of a PI more for you? They both have their own appeal, of course. Should I join the police, master the art of leading an investigation, and hone my innate leadership skills as I work toward the top? Or should I use the deductive genius I was born with to become a famous PI, solving cases that have baffled ordinary minds the realm over? Miss Idia, which do you think would be a better use of my considerable talents? Well, when you put it that way... Basically, it comes down to whether you'd rather start your career working for Heinkel or Kikyo, right? I bet whoever you turned down would try and convince you to reconsider. With force. <laughs> Do you really think so? Both my aunt and uncle seem frustrated with my aimless nature. I've come to think that they might even be relieved to not have me follow in their footsteps. Hmm. You may be less of a self-important spoiled brat than I thought. That's some insight after all. I guess it does run in the family. My advice would be to just watch carefully how both Heinkel and Kikyo approach their work. Observation is one of the most fundamental skills for any investigator, to be sure. Don't give up! Alright, well that wasn't very interesting. I don't know. I don't really like that character, he's kind of annoying, but I guess that's the point. So we'll see how he turns out. Who's next? There is... Whitson. We are fast friends and partners, but even we don't spend all our waking hours together. On a case, we stick to our own specialties and try not to interfere with each other's processes. Your specialties? Sholmes tends to rely on instinct and inspiration to make his deductions. I prefer to quietly analyze the details of a crime. <sighs> I suppose we are both the products of our environments. You also come from quite the family, huh? No less impressive than Sholmes, at least. Oh, please, come off that. Sholmes' grandfather was a world-famous detective. Mine was a world-famous detective's aide. Sholmes' father became police commissioner, while mine was never promoted beyond lieutenant. His mother is a best-selling mystery novelist. Mine... A best-selling mystery novelist's assistant. Sholmes comes from a line of brilliant deductive geniuses, while I come from a line of glorified sidekicks. There are no Inspector Heinkels or Silent Sleuth Kikyos among my relatives. Not that I'd expect the heirs to the houses of Lee and Jenny Oja to understand. Huh. So what are you gonna do once Sholmes figures out his career path? Who knows? I can only do what I can, quietly, out of the spotlight. I see. Sorry to interrupt your investigation. He's almost like a different person when he's not together with Sholmes. Hmm. Alright, that's nice. Where do I have to go now? Probably they said they were going downstairs, right? So let's go downstairs.
Oh, look, there's another guy here. <laughs> nope. Alright. Please. Can I find somebody to talk to? Oh, look, there's a thing. Um, I wasn't counting on, like, finding them so quickly. I was, uh, assuming I'd have to run around the place a little bit more, but whatever. Hmm? Oh, idiot. I'll not be taking any ridiculous questions about why a knight like myself is now working for some backwater municipal police force. Heinkel! Do not worry. I have not betrayed your father's trust, nor have I turned my back on Eternia. My business is mine alone. Further prying will get no more out of me. Murgaker. I would not object to telling you the tale, but now is not the time. I suggest you desist. Inspector! You must see this, sir! Understood. I'm on my way. Heinkel! What more can you have to pester me about? Just, um... Why are you still wearing that? I mean, you don't usually see a crime scene investigator in full plate armor. Probably because they didn't want to, like, edit his character model from the last game or something. Else, it'll take more than a job change to get me to lay these aside. Not to mention my great shield. Uh... If you say so. If you're not using that, can I have it? It looks like it has a really high defense rating. Do simpletons go one minute without hounding me? What is it this time? It's Madame Golddigger, sir. She's dead. Yeah, I don't think anybody didn't see that coming. I heard a noise and came running, but she was already cold. Did she do this herself? A murder suicide? Hmm. A fine mess this has become. The madam is dead? Oh, say it is not so. Hmm. Madam Golddigger as well? But but what about the sale? That's hardly. Is it true? Lord Gulliver's wife, dead as well? Whitson, quick to the scene, I see. Yeah, everyone's already here but you, Sholmes. So, Madame Goldigger is also dead. This is surely a case of murder. And just why do you think that, Sholmes? G uh, Call it a sixth sense? Can we please leave you outside? A, uh, strong hunch? And it tells me now that, uh, that the murderer is hiding beneath that table! Wait, huh? Come, Sholmes, even for you, that's a bit, hmm? What's that? A note? I shall follow where you go. Did Madame Golddigger write this? She killed herself out of grief over the loss of her beloved husband? Hmm. No. This was surely planted by the murderer to lead us astray. A personal challenge from the true culprit. Hang on. Where's the challenge in there? There must be a hidden message. If we look at the first letter of each sentence... There's only one sentence! Oh, enough! We start the investigation from the top! Yeah! What a miserable day! So why do I feel like this would be an easier case to solve if we, like, did not do everything that What's-His-Face said? Like, if you do the exact opposite of everything, um, Sholm said. Anyway, party chat. Yeah, okay, that was a little bit dim-witted even, uh, even on the standards of party chat. Heinkel! I'm sorry, my, my, my companions were just bothering you in that last party chat, but we won't talk about that. We've been over every inch and found not a single hidden passage. It's a sealed chamber if I ever saw one. Kikio, you stayed here when you were with the Black Blades, didn't you? How well did you all know the fort? When I was stationed here as part of the Black Blades' covert forces, I knew every hidden passage in this fort. It appears, however, that there have been renovations since then, which could very well mean... Hmm. All right.
right, listen up. I want you to go over every square inch of this room with a fine tooth comb. Leave no stone unturned. You did that last time. Yes, sir. Excuse me, Uncle Heinkel. We'd like to have a word with you. What is it this time, Sholmes? I just thought, uh, perhaps we should consult with Mr. Lesser. He is the owner of the fort. Hmm. Not bad. Renovations? I'm afraid any such work would have occurred before I acquired the property. But you should have records showing the name of a former owner, yes? The one who carried out said renovations? Yes, I believe I do. I thought as much, just as you should have records of the two of us working here. Isn't that so, Whitson? Uh, that's true enough. I remember it well. We were still students then. It was the best pay we'd ever gotten. W why, yes, it was. You heard the man. Go to Mr. Lesser's office and bring me the names of everyone involved with the renovation work. Yes, sir. All right, that was surprisingly helpful of, of Sholmes. I don't know if we should, like, have a reaction to that? Maybe? I guess? Not too shabby, Sholmes. You might have what it takes to pull off an investigation. With careful police work and keen instinct, both. I wonder. In truth, I still can't decide. Am I best suited to the life of an inspector? Tirelessly pursuing criminals through steady, thorough investigation? Or am I destined to become a genius detective, using logic and inspiration to track down the most evasive criminal masterminds? Hmm... You gotta pick one, huh? Oh. Already?